This story that I'm about to tell you is a tale of olden times, 2021. No, actually, I'm wrong. This story goes back to 2019. Now, this is pre-pandemic, the 3rd of September, 2019. A little kit came out for the old Space Marines, obviously. And one of the kits that I uh, was really excited about, actually, was the Invicta Warsuit. I know. I've told you this story before, but I need I need people who don't know this story to hear the full story. So 2019 it was an important time. And the reason it was an important time is because the Invicta Warsuit was released. And I posted on Twitter. So it says, coming soon, eyes emoji. Coming soon. September the 3rd at 12.12. 12. That's important. That's an important detail. Okay, I posted a picture of this Invicta Warsuit. And this Invicta Warsuit is very, very important. This one in particular, because I actually own three, as you can see. Now, these, this one and this one are very good. I was happy with them too. But this one, who's doing a run, is very, very important. He is the star of the show. That Dreadnought in particular, I should say that that Dreadnought was one of, one of the best painted faces I've ever done. Okay. Now, at the time, at the time, it was, it was all right. But I thought, you know, look, look, look they, they, think, they think that's a really good paint job on that face. I think it is. And that's what's important. I've realized I don't care what you guys think. I think it's great. But two years went by. Playing the Invicta Warsuit on the channel. Been on the channel loads of times. Don't think I took him abroad. Until one time, I did take him abroad. To No Retreat Legends. It's a tournament. A YouTuber tournament. So, the No Retreat Legends was an invite-only tournament ran by SM Battle Reports. And it was inviting a bunch of YouTubers to play on stream, play some games, play a tournament, crown a winner, but also just, just basically raise money for charity. That was the whole point. It was fun. It was great. So... I, we ended up going, Valrak went, obviously most, most of these people went, a couple of people didn't go who were on the picture, but that's fine. And uh, this happened because I got invited, and you might remember this video. Yo, imagine, imagine if there was the 40k content creators event with you. so many content creators packed in that the world loses its mind. A great description by Winters SEO. And he starts talking about who went. On right. tabletop, we're talking about it from Hellstorm Wargaming. From Hellstorm Wargaming. Okay, so, he's remember he, this. He, he, remember this. He doesn't matter. Chapter Master Valrak has also done a video and he's going to say some nice things about me and how I'm going to win because I deserve it because I've been at the top twice. Um, <laughs> when, it, when it comes to Mikey and stuff, hopefully he'll, he'll have a haircut. He looks like he's got like a dead fox on his head. Um, I am still angry about that comment. Cue the training montage. This Making this was the funniest shit at the time, but he was cringe. So your boy trained. Your boy trained for days, hours, months. For no retreat legend. Because I was destined to win. No one believed in me. Not even Valrak. But the point was... The point was, I trained long and hard, and I went to No Retreat Legends, did the cringe. I ended up playing five great games. Now, on the Saturday, on the Saturday, I played three games. I played against Quipster, I played Adrian, and I played Liam Dempsey, and I ended up winning two out of my three games, okay? But then the next day, this is where it all went downhill. Game, like, I'm going to describe it to you, the venue. The, how the venue is set up is important to what's about to happen. You walk in to the boat hotel. You walk in, you're on a boat and it's also a hotel, okay? You got the reception right in front of you. Upstairs is a balcony right above the reception. To the right, there's some stairs. You walk up the stairs to go to the to the balcony, which is where the event is held. But also, as you go to the top of the stairs, entrance to the bar, okay? A recipe for disaster. We play three games. Me and the boys, Val, Elliot, and Tom, and all the other lads, had a great time. Had a couple drinks, had some fun, we had a great time. We also drank in the bar. We also sat outside the bar when the bar was shut, and we talked for hours. But then the next day arrived, okay? Round four, playing Julian from French War Game Studios. And I was uh, a bit confused, because I was, I was talking about my army, telling him about what, what my army can do, and I was like, I'm pretty sure there's something missing here. And that's when I realized 
The Invicta War suit from 2019. That one I showed you wasn't on my tray. It wasn't on my tray at all. It was really bad. And I was like, maybe I left it on my old table. So I checked the old table. Wasn't there. I checked, uh, checked around near where I'd been playing before. Wasn't there. So I got up and shouted. Guys, 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 guys. Listen. That's what Pada does. And I was like, who's got my Invicta War suit? Everyone stopped and laughed because they thought it was funny. Haha, <laughs> Mikey got Paddy's Victor War suit. And I looked around, waiting, waiting for someone to say, Haha, ha, I've got it, lol. And no one answered. And I was like, No, no, seriously, who's got my Invicta War suit? And uh, no, no one owned up to it. No one owned up. And I was like, What? So I ended up like talking to Pardo. I was like, Wait, where's. What's up? Where is it? Do you know? Asking people, asking, asking Valrak. Number one suspect. Why? From Manchester. Really dodge. So, so it didn't turn up. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm like doing quite well in the event. I need to play now. Have you got one? And Pad was like, we can get you one, but we don't have one right now. So what ended up happening was I had to proxy something as the Invicta War suit. So I ended up proxying the Invicta War suit with a teacup. <laughs> And this is where the meme stems from. The teacup meta, you know? I ended up playing the Invicta War suit as a... Well, a teacup as an Invicta War suit because I was robbed. And to this day, we didn't know what happened to that Invicta War suit. Without any solid or concrete evidence, because CCTV didn't show anything, that just the spot where my army was, there was no CCTV. So I was there playing with a teacup because someone had robbed me. I was devastated. That was the best face I'd ever painted to that point. And I was robbed. Some could say it was tea time. Well done. Very good. So yeah, so I was basically robbed. Now, I will say that there's no shade on, again, like I said then, I'll say that now. No shade on SN battle reports at uh, boys at all. They were told the hotel will have security and camera surveillance. Now, no one knows what happened to the Invicta war suit until now. Okay. But there were some theories. There were some theories on the way, you know? The first theory was someone was drunk, not a player, you know, someone like walked in, stolen it, taken it away, you know? The other theory was that a, a YouTuber who was invited to No Retreat Legends took it from me. That was, that was another thing. That was another theory. Someone had it out for me. No one really, really knows why. Maybe someone was upset with me because of something that had happened previously and had it out for me and wanted to uh, get me back. But we didn't have any evidence, you know. We didn't know exactly. But I didn't have it. I was. I had no hard feelings on, on SM Bat Reports. Uh, I had no hard feelings on the players until I had evidence. And now I finally do. But I did go on to win second place at the time. Guy with a teacup for an Invicta comes second at No Retreat Le Legends after being robbed. So we ended up raising £10,000 for charity. And you got this beautiful picture of me, the 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 one who was robbed. <laughs> it was it was fun. I had five great games, but there was just like a little bit of a of, you know like a black stain on the on the whole event. It was a bit annoying. Did I get to keep the cup? No, I didn't. That was the worst bit. Um, but I did end up getting gifted a cup from uh, Jake, one of the moderators. Very nice of him. And um, you know, afterwards I streamed. I went live, started talking about this at the uh, the event in, as a whole. Talking about my games that I played, talked to Winters. And then you get a cheeky, oh. Actually, there's a lot of that going on. Can I ask you a very important question? Yes. I've asked you this question once before. Yes. Uh, is it okay if I ask? Of course, yeah. Have you ever been pegged? So yeah, I was asking the important questions, chatting to Winters, the winner of the event. But also, as you can see, the first piece of evidence arrived. Chat to Master Varak, the day of me talking about being robbed. Donated £45. Thank you again, Barak. That was very kind of you. Or was it? It was kind. Thank you, Barak. But that was the last that I heard about it, you know? Uh, DN Stuff was very kindly gifted me an Invicta War suit. And SM Battle Reports also gifted me an Invicta War suit as well. But I was still hurt because it wasn't the, the Invicta War suit that was stolen from me. I mean, it was cool that that had been gifted one. It was really nice and I did appreciate it. But, you know, it did... It filled, it filled the hole, but not fully because I didn't have the original model. But what I did have was someone mocking me the entire time over these 18 months. Someone mocking me. There was an Instagram account made called Mikey's Invicta Warsuit. 
War suit finally free in Gibraltar and loving life. The first actual post says, First full day of freedom. Figured I should get my bearings. Climb this beauty today to tuck in the glorious view. Thanks to SM Bar Reports for my new lease of life and to my OG dad, Hellstorm, for raising me with one of the confidence to break out on my own. He ended up finding a nice lady. Pub lunch with the locals. Catherine is very handsy, though. Got a job at a library later on, having a great time. You know, just, just war suit things. Starred in a movie, Invictus 2. So the Invictus war suit had a great time. But recently... As little as four weeks ago, bear in mind that was 2021. Four weeks ago, I appeared on the painting phase called Metagaming 10th Edition Clickbait Hellstorm Wargaming. This is where some real evidence appeared. Spoke about the situation on the podcast. I took, I said, you know, went and came second, got robbed, kind of weird, funny, talk to people talking about the Invictor Warsuit, haha. We all thought that the, the model had been thrown into the sea. That's all I knew, okay? That's all I knew. I was like, some drunk drunk head is thrown into the sea. But I never suspected anyone really because I didn't have any evidence. Until this day. Chat to Master Varak. Reminder, Mikey grasped on my whiz wig. Spell whizzy wig, by the way, Varak. Guess we'll never find out what happened to that model. Because what happened beforehand was that Varak posted a picture of his army with his redemptor dreadnoughts and i'd looked at his list and he had plasma cannons on his dreadnoughts in the list you know but what had actually happened is varic had gatling cannons on his dreadnought <laughs> so i was like they're funny looking plasma cannons and then pardo told him off for it <laughs> and told him to change his list sounds like an admission of guilt i said and um that was that four weeks ago and then he said, snitches get stitches. And that's, what he's, that's kind of been the line he's been saying ever since. This was kind of an ad... Was it an admission? Potentially. Potentially an admission. It could have been. It might not have been. We don't really know. Now, this is where the stories don't quite add up. Because whilst Valrak openly admitted, probably as a joke, in a YouTube comment saying he stole my Invictor War suit, this doesn't look right. Because Valrak doesn't know how Instagram works. So then I was like... It could be Valrak, but he doesn't know how Instagram works. So maybe he's working with someone else to make an Instagram account to mock me getting robbed at this event. So this couldn't have been Valrak. So was this Valrak paying someone to run an Instagram account? Was it someone else mocking me or was it the original thief? I don't know. However, it came to light this weekend. We ran All Stars Heat 2. And something very weird happened. During the the awards ceremony, uh, Elliot wanted to give away a prize. Because we always give away a player's player award. So the best person, the most favourite player there, gets a, gets an award. And Elliot wanted to present it because we he hand drew a very cool certificate. So here's the picture. Here's what Elliot drew. It says, Hellstorm Heat 2. Mom, is it 10th yet? The Lord Luthers Award for Most on it player, Honest Player. And it's a picture of the lion, so the big lion saying, Wakey, wakey, bitch. And um, as stabbing someone with the sword Chadium. And it turns out it's Angron. And it says, Ouch, my Angrussy. <laughs> but this was the certificate that Elliot presented. And they also get a free ticket to our big event that's happening at the end of the year. So Elliot was like, I want to present this one because, um, you know, I drew it. That's cool. I was like, yeah, you know what? Okay, that's fine. So during the awards, after I'd given away Best Painted, Elliot wanted to present Favourite Player Award, you know? And uh, for some reason, Tom started filming. And this is when I was like, I don't know what's going on. What is, what's, what's Tom got planned here? Hello, class. I'll do players, players. I'll do players player in a minute. <laughs> because first, I need to take you back in time. <laughs> As you can see, I'm stood there with the award like a f idiot because I don't know what's going on. I'm like, Elliot's going to present this award now to the players player, which is won by Ben. He's a legend, okay? Ben is a lovely bloke. But I'm stood there like, <laughs> Elliot's going to present the award now. Wait, what's he on about? What's going on? <laughs> I love the worry. <laughs> so, a long time ago, there was a tragedy that befell Hellstorm War Gaming. And we, and we lost one of our brightest and best. But if you look at my face, I'm just really confused. I'm like, 
what is what what <laughs> go through my head i'm like where is this story going okay what is he on about just present the award to ben talk about the artwork present the award to ben what are you on about thanks to mr fjord he's back with us he's traveled 1400 miles to be with us today why did he talk about fjord which is one of our moderators for radio free armageddon a lovely bloke. Why? 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 What's he on about? I'm just like, what is going on? Please just give Ben the award. Why are you talking still? Anyway. Nick, bring him out. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so they set all this up. To bring out an Evictor War suit in the award ceremony, and you can see my f face. <laughs> Speech! Speech! <laughs> As you can see, I'm like, what? And, then that, and that's when it started. I was like, it wasn't Valrak. It wasn't Valrak at all. It was Elliot, the Loki's con. 18 months, he stole the Victor War suit from me and Elliot had it the entire time. The entire time. The entire time I was robbed by my best friend. He had been lying to me for 18 months. He stole in my Invicta War suit, waited 18 months, and then that was when he finally revealed it. And he waited that long. He waited for the memes to come and go, be revived again, and then go again, and then. Listen, um... he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> this, is... this isn't the same one. That's when I realized it wasn't actually the same one. I know, spoiler alert. It wasn't the same one, okay? But I was very shocked, but that's what was running through my mind. Elliot had robbed me and waited 18 months for the longest con, for the ultimate banter. Well, we can't confirm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was in communication with Valrak, but I can't confirm anything more. <laughs> I don't know if anyone noticed, but it has my head. So, um, so yeah, so, so Nick couldn't confirm if it was from Valrak. But the, uh, the the head on the Invicta had been replaced. Can you wow. take the suitcase as well? Um, the suitcase, it says, I love Valrak. <laughs> <laughs> Free Radio Armageddon. Which is Who is our moderator. Obviously one of our mods, legend. And then it's got a peg on it for some reason. And I still was confused <laughs> at this point. Wow. Mm, <laughs> oh my lord. Well, the mystery has ever ceased. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. You can remove the suitcase. It just fell off. So <laughs> yeah. I'm doing well. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so that was what happened. And I actually have the Invicta War suit right here. He has returned. The Wayward Son. Gone for 18 months on holiday. Made an Instagram account. Couldn't confirm or deny he was kidnapped by Valrak, but here he is. So let's have a closer look. So here he is, as you can see, the Invicta War suit in all of its glory. He's holding a little suitcase because he's been on holiday. The suitcase fell. I don't know how it worked. He's holding a little suitcase that says, I love Valrak. It has the Gibraltar flag on it. It has the Hellstorm Wargaming logo. It has Radio Free Armageddon. Or free radio Armageddon. It has a peg. And it has a sick second place ribbon. <laughs> and as you can see, it is it has my face. If you remember the video where uh, I scanned and 3D printed my own face, it is there. But it turns out it whilst it wasn't the original Invicta War suit, my moderator Brian, or Radio Free Armageddon in chat, had conspired conspired with multiple people of my friend group one of them being nick lambo paints who painted this dreadnought also helped conspire with elliot to 3d print my head as well as the suitcase for his travels basically all of my friends knew my girlfriend knew and i knew nothing <laughs> oh here she is hello. hello hello i'm just talking about you so she conspired with all of my friends and brian and nick and everybody to have this painted how long did you know about this not long do you not remember the other night when i was like 
just text me. Never mind. And you're like, you just completely ignored it. That's what that was. So Bibby, three months ago, said, Mikey, have you got that file of your head? Because I want to print loads for my Alpha Legion army, and I think that'd be really funny. You know, because Billy is... I love him to bits. We do love him to bits. But he's a bit weird, isn't he? I like Billy more than you, probably. So. Billy's a bit weird. So I thought nothing of it. So I was just like, yeah, that's fine, Billy. Here's the link. And then and then Ellie asked it because he was like, I'm going to print it for you. Because they didn't want me to print it because I'm too busy. So she was in on it. Georgie, she did send me pictures of your head. Is that true? I sent Nick pictures of your head with because you were trying to figure out where to start the blonde highlights on the head so mm -hmm. i had to go and draw like a little what <laughs> little line on the head to figure out where we needed to start the blonde i didn't say the beard should be more ginger i could have but i didn't the ginger is the beard is quite ginger on the model though we'd have a conversation of who would raise the least amount of suspicion to ask for mikey's head yeah it was, just... it was billy clearly so um so yeah so billy and elliot conspired to get the head printed along with the suitcase Nick was conspired with Brian because Brian had commissioned Nick or Radio Free Armageddon to paint the Invicta and then you conspired with all of them to get pictures of my head to say where the blonde started. And also to, to what should be on the suitcase, what little stickers you to be on the suitcase. Yeah. All of these are free-handed by Nick like, as you can see. Thumb for scale. Thumb for scale. Unreal. None of this is like a sticker. None of this is a transfer. It's all it's all freehand. So so yeah. So basically, uh, I wanted to say a massive thank you to Brian uh, for conspiring, well, starting it all off and uh, paying for the commission and probably the model as well. So thank you very much to Radio Free Armageddon, uh, the best moderator out of all of them, confirmed. Thank you, Brian. Let's get some claps in chat for Brian. Brian Absolute Brian, legend. Brian. And now he's just the idiot in the middle. I want to say as well, I think you probably already said it, shout out to Elliot because there was a big debate in the group chat about how to wrestle the microphone off of you mm. and how to make that look natural and we, it didn't want it to be just like... So by the way, this is... So Elliot... Supposedly was, Tom said he was just going to snatch it off Yeah, me. we said to not do that. <laughs> we said to not do that because they'll get very stressed. It was so it was smooth. It was smooth. So I was just so confused. So confused. And then I was instantly falling out with Elliot for robbing me for 18 months. Uh, but that is the story, how the Wayward Son, he was named. The Return of the Wayward Son. Mm, was the that is the name. Return of the Wayward Son story of how I was long conned. And we still don't actually know if Valrak stole the Invicta Warsuit in the first place because this is a new replacement. I know that. This is, this is Invicta Warsuit number five. <laughs> no. Six. 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 So I am, I was honestly overwhelmed. I did cry. I was very tired. I was very emotional. And uh, do you know, like, you know, like when you just like, you've been doing something for so long and you're just about to finish, like run a tournament. It's tiring. It's a lot of hours. It's a lot of time and effort. And then you just, you're just about to finish and then you, you get thrown off completely. It made me cry. Okay. But yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. I couldn't believe it. Um, so I just want to say, I wanted to like talk about it on stream. And uh, I want to say a massive thank you um, to uh, to Brian Fnord and all of the moderators and all of my all of my closest friends who who duped me for so long because this has been going on for a couple of months. Obviously, like the Invicta War suit, actually long gone, you know, definitely thrown in the sea. But but this this is like crazy crazy cool crazy crazy cool my anxiety was through the roof it was sitting in a box next to us uh, tos all weekend yeah the thing is i've got to be more wary because i just think my friends are a bit weird okay billy can i have your head to print it for my entire army yes billy that is fine whatever fucking weirdo nick i'm bringing this box to post telling me in the car sat with the box on his lap I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I've like sold some stuff. I'm trying to get some Space Marines and some guy wants some Stormcast. I'm like, right, okay. Why are you bringing them to the tournament? Are you gonna post them? While you're at the tournament? All right, whatever. Weirdo, why are you bringing them along? Turns out that box he was on about posting was the reason, was the Invicta. I mean, he kept, he kept bringing it up over the weekend. Oh, did you ever find out who runs this Instagram account? Was it you? No, it wasn't me. I didn't make the f Instagram account. It was funny, but who the f made it? No idea. Still don't know to this day. I was duped. I was duped by everyone. I hated every second. I didn't, but 
it was it was crazy and i was very overwhelmed and that is the story of how the invicta war suit finally came home and uh Balrak, if you did steal it now i don't care you know why this one has my face okay he has my face and importantly i made that face i designed it i didn't print it this time but i designed it which means this invicta war suit with my face is legal at warhammer world because i designed this part <laughs> i can't take the suitcase but i can take the rest <laughs> This is the end of an era. There's no more after this. The Invicta Warsuit story, the uh, the Invicta Cinematic Universe is coming to an end. And it's, uh, it's been gone. So this is the, the Warsuit. It was the, the pose was pretty close, to be fair. So you got the pose pretty pretty on point. There's my printed head. Elliot, did, Elliot come on now. Sort those ley lines out. Jesus. <laughs> there he is in all his glory. I like the alternated. Look at that. Even the teeth chat and the gums. Paid the gums. Beautiful. And that's why they start going ginger. And there he is coming together. The blonde. Beautiful. Screaming into the void. Me. Swimming. Sinking to the bottom of the ocean. That's the face I'd pull. With the roll bars. They left the roll bars off, but I could glue them on if I want to. And then this is the suitcase. Obviously, got the Gibraltar emblem. We've got the Hells of Wargaming logo. And all this, I said, I said all of this is three freehand. So this is Nick's painting. So make sure you go follow Nick at Lambo Paints. And that was the finished suitcase. I love Valrak. Second place, uh, Rosette. Free Radio Armageddon. I love Valrak. And there you go. There it is. In all its glory. <coughs> Great job. Great job, Nick. Great job. Really, really nice paint job.